Hey guys, Richard here for AndroidCentral.com. What we've got today is the Kobo Arc 10 HD. So we first saw this back at IFA in Berlin in September. It's Kobo's latest reading focused tablet only this time they've gone up to the 10 inch form factor and uh, they're actually packing quite a bit into this tablet so we'll just take a very quick tour of the hardware so as we can see it's a 10.1 inch display tablet uh, it is quite heavy there is quite a bit of weight to it um, it feels very very solid though it's not uh, it, it doesn't feel cheap to feel sort of nasty in the hands the back's got this kind of soft touch uh, finish on it here and if we can just sort of get a close-up of one of the sides we've got these kind of weird angles that follow all the way around the outside on the back of the uh, on the back of the arc and it's it's supposed to be uh, designed to sort of feel nice when you're holding it and uh, I'd say it, it generally does it you know it's a little bit strange to look at but it does the job so immediately noticeable no rear camera on this tablet if you're the sort of person that takes photographs with your tablet then uh, this definitely isn't for you. We have got a pair of speakers here on the back. On this side, we've got the uh, headphone jack, micro HDMI, micro USB charging port. On the other side, we've got the volume rocker. And then up here on the top, we've got the, uh, the on-off switch, which is kind of a slide switch as opposed to a, uh, a button, which is interesting. So we'll power on the display. Got a lot of things there to get rid of. And uh, this is one of the big changes that Kobo's made with the Arc 10. So this is a 2560 by 1600 resolution display. Uh, so it's offering 300 PPI at 10.1 inches. It is a really, really nice display. Uh, the video won't do it any justice, but it's very, very crisp, very, very clear. Very good colours, very bright, uh, it's very, very nice to look at. And obviously Kobo's positioning this as a reading tablet. So uh, that extra resolution really comes into its own when you uh, jump in and do some reading. Other hardware specs, we've got a 1.8 gigahertz Tegra 4 processor inside. So it's packing, uh, it's packing some good specs. We've got Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And uh, as we can see here on the front, we've got Kobo's kind of newest version of their uh, their own custom interface overlay, and we'll, we'll take a bit of a closer look at that in another video and in the full review. But underneath, it's basically untouched as it has been on previous Kobo tablets like the Arc 7. It's basically Android underneath. As I said, we're, meant, we're, we're running 4.2.2. There are obviously some customizations. Um, Obviously, one of these is you can sign in with a Kobo account, as well as your regular Google account and all those other sort of things. Uh, a few things here in the settings to note of. We've got a power saving mode, which we can tweak. 16 gigabytes of onboard storage on uh, on this tablet. No micro SD card slot, though, that I've found so far. Uh, we've got a reading mode, obviously, as we said, this is a reading focused tablet. And again, we'll take a we'll take a closer look at the software uh, in another video. This is quite interesting. We've got Miracast built in as well. So uh, beyond reading, obviously, Kobo is quite big on consuming content. Uh, their custom interface, you can save videos and the like. Uh, and having Miracast involved. So if you've got a uh, a Miracast compatible TV receiver, then that's pretty good. This is obviously, like we've said, this is Kobo's custom interface. Anyone who's familiar with their tapestries UI from previous tablets uh, will kind of understand where they're at now with the uh, with these collections. It's uh, it's a development of a theme rather than something completely new. Uh, but again, it's on this kind of uh, continuous, never-ending scrolling home screen uh, effect. A uh, couple of other nice things to mention with the software. So. We've got a bunch of preloaded apps, as you might imagine. Uh, we've actually got Firefox, Chrome, and the stock uh, kind of Android browser. So we've got three web browsers pre-installed on this. Uh, but Firefox is the one that's on the home screen when you fire it up for the first time. So that's obviously the preferred choice uh, of Kobo. Uh, but it does come with Chrome as well, pre-installed. So you don't have to worry too much about that. We've also got things like uh, Feedly, Pinterest, uh, Office Suite... RDO is pre-installed as well, so there is there is a few bits and pieces on there, nothing too kind of horrendous. This Get Apps seems to link to the Play Store, which we don't have connection at the moment. So we've kind of got that's a little bit confusing because we kind of got the Get Apps and we've got the Play Store as well. Not quite sure on that one. Um, one of the customizations I do really like though 
in terms of software if we can focus here on the bottom corner so in the bottom right hand corner of the display Kobo's got the app draw search and voice search buttons because obviously we're going to be holding this tablet most of the time with two hands one left one right so we've got a handy set of buttons here on the left there are all the uh, you know the back home and fast app switching and then those buttons down there on the uh, on the bottom right. So that's our, that's a kind of a really good touch, I think, for a, a 10 inch tablet, as opposed to just having the three buttons in the middle and the search bar at the top, because you're forever reaching for those sort of things. And uh, Kobo's done a really good job there with putting it um, putting it in in handy uh, locations. We do have a front facing camera. Hello, I'm not looking my best today. I'm quite tired. So you can make Skype video calls and things like that, um, but otherwise. That's about it on the camera front. So that's a quick look at the Kobo Arc 10. We've got it in for review, so we'll be taking a much closer look at it in the days and weeks ahead. Stick around to Android Central for that, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>